The disciples came to Jesus privately as he sat upon the Mount of Olives and asked him to tell them what the signs of his coming would be and what the sign of the end of the world would be. Jesus told them to take heed. Be careful that no man deceive them, mislead them into error because many would come in his name, misusing it and saying they are the Christ and deceive many. He also told them not to be afraid when they continuously heard about wars and rumors of wars because they must take place. And that's not even the end of the age yet. Nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, famines and earthquakes will be going on in various places. And even these things are, are just the beginning of the birth pains. In other words, even these things are just the beginning of the intolerable anguish and the time of unprecedented trouble. Followers of Christ will be handed over to endure tribulation and be put to death and will be hated by all nations because of Jesus' name. Many will turn away from the faith and will betray and hate each other, handing over believers to their persecutors, and false prophets will appear and deceive many. Now verse 12 is the one that I want to bring attention to, and that is because it says iniquity shall abound. In other words, because lawlessness is increased, the love of most will grow cold. In this day and age, the smartphone gets way more attention than the word of God. All day long, you can find people distracted driving because they spend more time looking down at their cell phones and less time looking at where they are going. It's gotten so crazy that people will even slow down in traffic just so they can finish out their text message or finish reading their screen. It's not only the driving and texting and looking at the thing. People will walk around with it and look at it as well. With so many people looking down, it seems like the world should be looking up. When it comes to this verse, we keep seeing the beginnings of birth pains playing out in our lives today. We have the deception. We have people misusing the name of Jesus. We have the wars and the rumors of wars. We have the famines and earthquakes in various places. It may not be happening in the United States yet, but in other countries, we have people being betrayed, being hated, being handed over to their persecutors. We have false prophets, and we definitely have lawlessness all over. At this point, the whole world knows about the assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. Yes, it was a tragic event for America, and it's even sadder that lives had to be lost for someone to give in to their fleshly desire to act out this lawlessness that the Bible speaks of. It seems like, as believers, we should be looking up and never take our eyes off of the clouds where Jesus is going to come for the rapture just like people seem to never take their eyes off of their smartphone. Already, people are distracted with questions about security on the rooftops. There were people on the ground that said that they saw the shooter scaling up the roof and brought it to the attention of authorities. So, people are distracted with their uh, response or lack of response. One person that they spoke to said, that he and his daughter had gone to a rally, I think it was four years ago, and there was security all over on every rooftop. It was so noticeable that that is all they could talk about, but she didn't come with them because she's pregnant, and when he arrived this time, the lack of security on the rooftops was the noticeable thing. This time, so people, so go, people are going to be distracted with the lack of security, allowing the shooter to get as close as he did. I know as I was watching, me and my wife, we were watching it on the news, their reaction time to put a shield around former President Trump looked more like they were startled by the whole thing. They seemed to be moving around in confusion rather than reacting like trained security agents. It seems like business as usual now. See who is to blame so we can point the finger of failure at them. False prophets are going to come out of the woodworks talking about how they were given a dream or vision about this, and they're going to try to spin it and make it line up with the book of Revelation. But all I want to leave us with is this. All we already know what the signs will be. We don't exactly know 
what will happen and how it will play out, but we have the cheat sheet and we already know that lawlessness will increase. So don't be deceived, don't be distracted, don't take your eyes off what we should be keeping our eyes on and that is the soon return of Jesus Christ.